Hello and welcome to this demonstration on how to create the configuration for the Profinet can open gateway from Exad. The first thing to do is to open the software from Exad can open configuration studio for Exad. This is um, uh, the software design from the company that made the gateway for may, uh, for configuring the gateway parameters. As you can see here, this is the main interface of the program. On the left side, we have the project explorer, we have the catalog, and in the middle, we have the parameters for each node or each element that we add, and on the right side is the PDO parameters. The first step is we're gonna do is to install our EDS file from the ASDA A2 drive to the catalog of this software. We go to tools, manage catalog, then we go to import a device and then we're gonna select the file that I have downloaded from the website which is located here. Be careful for this and um, usually there are several versions. The version that is working is this one with this file extension. As you can see now we have the device here under Delta Electronics. Second step is to create a new project. We're gonna choose the path for this new project. I'm gonna create a new desktop. Then we'll test. Save. The can open manager that we're gonna choose is the Excel gateway. There is no other choice. And we're gonna give an address for this gateway. Now, as you can see, we have the manager, which is the master, the can open master, which is the gateway itself. Here, there's nothing more to do for parameter for parameters. Everything we have, we, we just leave it as it is. And then we're gonna add our as the A2 server drive. Uh, you can find it under drives and motion control under Delta Electronics server drive. You can just drag and drop. Give it a name, an old address, and some description. When I select here the slave, which is the server drive, you can see the parameters here. Also nothing to be done in this area until now. On the right area, we can see the PDO parameters. Um, here is all the work that, uh, most of the work that has to be done. Um, the software is a little bit buggy. It sometimes creates its own interface that we have to change. So I'm gonna select and remove the things that I don't need. Um, I'm gonna have to look at the list of the parameters that I need. Control world profile velocity. Just gonna add, see, right click, add object. Then we have an access to every parameter in the server drive and the variables. <coughs> File velocity. And target position, target velocity. And this from here and here. Acceleration, the acceleration, and at the end, we're gonna add the uh, mode of operation, homing method, and home offset. The same applies also for the transmit PBOs. And Stay the stays and here we're gonna add the error code. I'm gonna make a press here on lock PDO. This will lock the PDO and prevent the program from automatically filling the PDO with other variables. Now 
So we're gonna have to make calculate of the configuration. Go to build calculate configuration. Okay, no errors. But still, this is not finished yet. We need we're gonna need to add the process images. As you can see, it is still empty. So we select the node. We make sure that the node has been selected. We go to application objects. As you can see, this is the node, and we expand here, and we can see all the parameters that we need at the moment. We're gonna scroll down. As you can see also we have a direct access to the drive parameters, but for this application we don't need it. So we need error code, control word, status word, notification, position, actual value, velocity, actual value, torque, current, offset, velocity, acceleration, deacceleration. These two are a little bit tricky. I'm gonna disable them now and come back to them later. I will show you why. Common method. Target velocity. Just to make sure that I have everything I need. At least something is missing. Target position. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to make a compile again. As you can see, some errors. This is due to the bugs in the, in the program. You can start by unlocking one of the PDOs and see what happens. Compile again. Okay, lock it again. Position this and this. Compile. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, and look here. Target velocity. And look here. Yeah. Still target velocity. Look here. <laughs> okay, so um, no errors. Now we have to come back to profile acceleration and the acceleration parameters, as I said before. I'm gonna select them now. Compile again. Still, so Target velocity.
So now it works exactly as we want it to be. Um, this is a bug in the program. I have already contacted the company for to fix it, and I don't know when they will fix it. Um, after after the configuration has been done, we need to save the file. So we click on Build Generate Configuration. It will save the configuration file to be downloaded later on the gateway. So we're gonna give it a name. Demo test. The next part is to um, configure the interface with the gateway between the PC and the, and the gateway to download the parameters to the gateway. Um, in this case, we are using USB, but because the gateway is not been connected, we don't see anything here. Once the gateway has been connected, you will see the, um, the, 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 the PC has discovered the gateway. After that, we're going to click on download. We choose that configure not a firmware update, only the configuration uh, file. I'm going to choose the file which we saved two minutes earlier. Which one? This one. And then we're going to hit download. But because the gateway is not connected, we don't have it here in hand at the moment. We are getting this error. Otherwise, it's going to just download without any problem. Um, so after this this parametering parameters has been finished um, if we go to the folder that we created the object again we will see that there is the gsdml file which will be used later for the profinet master configuration um, for our profinet master we have chosen a siemens as 7500 plc we're gonna open here the software from them I'm just gonna go to options, manage general station, and then select the file from the folder. It was this one. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is the file. I'm gonna just select it, hit install. Now go to devices and it works. Open the catalog, insert a new device on the Profinet Gateway XR. This is the old configuration, this is the new configuration. As you can see, it has today's date and time. So I'm gonna drag it and put it here. Connect it to the Profinet network. Double click on it. Assign a CPU, and then you will see that it has automatically all the parameters that we configured before in the software, and it already assigned the inputs and outputs that we can use them in the program here 
for starting and stopping the drives, all the parameters, the speed, the position, and so on and so on and so on. Thank you for your uh, um, thank you for listening, and uh, hopefully this tutorial will be useful for you in the future.